There's a spirituality of stewardship. It means the things that we have received, we should use wisely the way they were intended to be used. And of course, we have received so many gifts from God. In the stewardship spirituality, we recognize three gifts in particular. The first is time. If you think about it, it is God himself who created time to place the stars in their positions and the movement of the planets. And it is from this that the Magi would find their way to Bethlehem. We too use our time in prayer and adoration of our Lord. What better use of time could there be? There's another gift, talent. Where everybody has the same number of minutes in a single day, each of us has our own talents, different abilities that we might have. And based on those talents, we too can use those gifts to give glory to God. Think about all the people who volunteer in so many capacities. They use their God-given gift so that they might, of course, make a living. But more than that, they give generously of their abilities. And there is a third gift, treasure. God said to Adam and Eve, all of this is yours, and gave them the whole world. Using the gifts that they have, they were able to provide for their own needs, but even more so, they were able to give glory to God. And we learned in our generosity to give our gifts, our donations, even the little toys that the children want to give to other children. What a great way to say thank you to the Lord for the many things we have received. But there is one gift that we often overlook. It is the gift of the Holy Spirit bestowed upon the Holy Church. Gifts that allow us to heal one another, gifts that allow us to understand and, and to have knowledge, to discern. Each of these gifts were meant to be used. And so receiving the great gift of the Holy Church and its sacraments, we now can become the church for others. We ask Almighty God on this day of the Epiphany, help us to be as generous as the three kings.